Hi, sweeties. Today, we are going to do another battle. This time, it is going to be the Ninja Foodie versus the Crock-Pot Slow Cooker. This is a six-quart programmable Crock-Pot. It has a lockable lid, but you don't want to lock it during cooking. That's only if you're like taking it to a potluck or you're taking it out, uh, you know, going to drive around with it. Don't lock it during cooking. This one has the oval crock. Again, that is six quarts. And this is a ceramic crock. And the Ninja Foodie. This is six and a half quarts. I have to check that. It's six and a half or 6.3. Programmable. It is a air fryer pressure cooker, and it also slow cooks. You can see the features there. Bake, roast, broil, air crisp, sear, dehydrate. We haven't tried that yet. And it has a non-stick round insert. We're going to make some slow cooked beef for tacos for a taco night at home. Let's get into it. But before we start, Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do more great product reviews just like this one. I have these two beef chuck roasts about the same size, 2.3 pounds. And I've got some seasoning for both of them. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, chili powder and smoked paprika. So I'm going to rub both of these chuck roasts with my seasonings and we're gonna brown them before we slow cook them. With the Ninja Foodie, we're going to brown it right in the foodie itself. We're gonna press sear on high and start. I'm gonna let that get hot before I add our seasoned chuck roast to the pot. Now with the crock pot, you're not gonna really sear it in the crock pot. You'll have to we'll sear it in another pan and then add it into the crock pot. So I do want the crock pot to get hot. We'll do eight hours low just to get it started so it won't be ice cold when we add our chuck roast to the um, crock pot. Let's drop that roast into the Ninja Foodie. We've got a nice sizzle going on there. It's nicely well seasoned all around. We're gonna let that brown. Now we'll put the other chuck roast in a pan. We'll brown this chuck roast on our stove top and that's one of the benefits of using a, a multi-purpose cooker like the foodie is that you can sear and slow cook or air fry or pressure cook whatever in the same pan with the crock pot you've got to use another pan and get another pan dirty so we will let that sear and then add it into the crock pot let's give that meat a flip so I can reach in there and get it There we go. Ooh, that is nice and brown. Now I'll go get the meat from the pan on the stove. And now I'll turn that meat that's on the stove nice and deep brown. And that's just going to add more flavor to our finished dish. Well, that's browning. I'm going to add some chopped ro roasted red pepper and one chopped white onion. I'll put the um, amounts in a link in the description box. We can just put that in there and get that going. And we'll do the same in our pan on the stove. I use roasted red peppers for this recipe because I want the peppers to break down as they're cooking. And a lot of times when you use the, a whole fresh red pepper, it still it has the skin on and that skin never really breaks down. So I want it to sort of disappear 
as the meat is cooking. Now that our chuck steak is nicely brown, I've taken it out of the pan and put it in the crock pot. And I'll put the vegetables over. Then, since we want no flavor left behind, we're going to deglaze that pan that we cooked the beef in for the crock pot with two cups of beef broth. Then we'll pour that into the crock pot. For the ninja foodie, we can just pour that beef broth straight into the crock pot. And we'll just pour this broth we deglaze that pan with into the crock pot. Now you don't have to do that. You could just pour the broth straight in there. You don't have to deglaze the pan. But I just like to add that flavor back in the crock pot. We've added the broth and vegetables to our crock pot. It's on low temperature for eight hours. We're going to check both of these at six hours and just compare and see how tender they are. So I've shut the unit off. We've already added our beef broth, the vegetables, the beef chuck roast is in there. We're going to turn the power on. And this time we are going to slow cook. So we'll hit slow cook. The default is high, we're gonna set it to low. And Let's set it to six hours because I want to just check them both after six hours. And we'll press start. And then we'll add our pressure cooking lid on. Although we're not pressure cooking, this pressure lid will help to seal in all the moisture. Just make sure that it is turned to vent and not seal. And now we wait. It's been six hours. Now let's see what we got. Mm. Colors look great. Let's take a look here. Looks great too. Let's see how tender they are. Okay. Let's see how tender. I'm going to use this wooden spoon. Still not quite as tender as I would like it in the center. So we're going to let that go for another couple hours. Let's see this. This is much more tender. Oh, you can see the, even with the wooden spoon, it just breaks it right up easily. That's interesting. So this, in the crock pot, the beef is tender. So this is the roast after being in the Ninja Foodie for another hour. And now it is super tender. Actually, that was about two hours. Super tender, can break up with that wooden spoon just like the other one. Lots of juices in there that we can save for another recipe or a soup. That would be tasty. Let me see what that one tastes like. I measured the liquid left over. This is from the crock pot and there's just about two and a half cups of liquid and fat left after cooking. And remember we added two cups of beef broth when we started cooking. Now let's check the Ninja Foodie. This is the liquid and fat left after cooking in the Ninja Foodie and there's just about two cups left after cooking that beef. After adding about two cups of beef broth when we started cooking. But remember that's broth and layer of fat as well. So we did lose a little bit of beef broth through evaporation with the Ninja Foodie. I've got two tacos here. One made with the beef from the slow cooker and the other made with the beef from the Ninja Foodie. So let's try the 
slow cooker one first. And I just topped it with the pickled jalapenos that I made. I've, I'll post the link to the recipe up there. Um, I did a video on that. Some chopped red onion on there. A little cilantro. You know, you can have whatever you want. Salsa cheese. So I'm just going to give that a taste. A little red onion on there too. Mmm. Mmm. I should have bought a drink. So that's very tender, very juicy. The meat is well seasoned, but they're both seasoned the same way. Um, you know, it's delicious. Sorry, I'm a slow chewer. Um, that came out really delicious and tender. And remember, the beef in the slow cooker cooked more quickly than the beef in the Ninja Foodi used as a slow cooker. And now this is the taco from the Ninja Foodi. Remember we browned the meat first in the Ninja Foodi. When we did it in the slow cooker, we had to brown it in another pan and then put it into the slow cooker. So here's the Ninja Foodi one, same toppings. Mm. Just as tender, just as delicious. There's really not a, ta a difference in taste and texture. Our only difference is in the time it took to cook. So I would say that the slow cooker is the winner because it finished our slow cooked beef a little bit faster than the Ninja Foodi did. Now, if time is not an issue, then, you know, it's pretty much even. Um, you see, you could just adjust the time accordingly. But, um, yeah, I would think, think that I would give the slow cooker a slight edge over the Ninja Foodi used as a slow cooker. The differences are pretty small, but I would still give the crock pot the edge give it the win as a slow cooker so i hope you enjoyed this demo and i hope you give this a try and hope you found it helpful if you did please subscribe hit that notification bell and have a delicious day